Let's do this. All right. Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yep. Yeah. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. Or excellent. What? Now, y'all probably like, okay, Chris, where were you at yesterday? <laughs> I had some bit little business to take care of. Okay. Yeah, something something very important. But anyway, but I'm but I'm here but I'm here today though. Now let, let's get this Activision uh article out the way here. Listen to this. Let me see if I can get this right. Set this up right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. Now let's go. Now we're ready. Listen to this. Microsoft may abandon Activision merger if Judge Grant's FTC requests. Hmm. This from Tweetdown. What's up, Tweetdown? Listen to this. Microsoft and Activision have indi indicated that they may abandon their proposed $68.7 billion merger if federal courts grant FTC a preliminary injunction. Hmm. Says here, Microsoft Legal Counsel suggests that the company could abandon the $68.7 billion merger with Activision if the federal courts grant the FTC request for a preliminary injunction. Uh, it says here, uh, the faith of Microsoft Activision merger may hang in the balance of a decision from a North Northern District, Northern California federal court. In a recent filing, Microsoft and Activision lawyers indicate that the acquisition could be terminated if the Judge Jacqueline Scott Corley issues a pre preliminary injunction at the at the FTC BS. <laughs> and it says, uh, the U.S. Antitrust Commission wants to stop the merger and has challenged the deal in its own internal administrative courts instead of the federal court. This is by design. The FTC can effectively kill the merger through year-long process where the commissioner and not the administrative law judge who oversees the case have the final say on the merger approval. Not unless the Supreme Court's got something to say about that. That is the ultimate jurisdiction in the land. Let's not let's not kid ourselves here. The Supreme Court got the final say on this. Anyway, let's keep going. Says here, uh, the FTC has been creative in its tactics. In the most recent motion, Microsoft lawyers say that the FTC opted for an eighth-month schedule for the admin case rather than a shorter five-month proceeding, which set the first hearing on August 2nd. Well past the merger July 18th uh, expiration date. Knowing that the FTC would rule against the merger and effectively kill it, Microsoft and Activision had planned to combine any time after Ju June 15th. This prompted the FTC to seek an emergency temporary restraining order, TRO, to prevent two companies from merging for a specific period of time. But the perspective, the preserved state of, the preserved status quo, and to address the more important request, a preliminary injunction order, Judge Corley has granted TRO. All right. Now let's keep going here. It says here, the preliminary injunction PI is the commission mail goal. The FTC seeks a very specific preliminary injunction that would prohibit Microsoft from merging with Activision for the duration of the administrative lawsuit. Most, I mean, Microsoft lawyers say that this P.I. spelled doom for the merger. Council outlined a timeline that could keep the merger in stasis for years. And then it says, in, this, in the case, the proceeding before the ALJ would last, un, would, would last until at least December 2023. At the absolute earliest, Microsoft lawyer says, look, the Supreme Court is the ultimate judge in the land. In the land of the in, in the land, they got the final say on this. Remember that. Anyway, says here, uh, this is just the beginning. Though the FTC has passed a new law that allowed the commissioner to ignore the ALJ administrative law judge decision and instead put merger approval up for a vote, the process between the ALJ re uh, recommendation and the FTC final vote could take another year. This means the merger could be held in limbo for at least until December 2024. To keep the merger in its current state would require re, re, would require renegotiation 
and many millions more dollars being spent on attorney fees and filing. Hmm, let's not forget about that too. Hmm, all, all while both companies would have to continue independent operation as the video game industry continues rapidly expanding and evolving. Evolving. See, Microsoft, Microsoft, Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard does not stop the industry from growing. But anyway, knowing the importance of the preliminary injunction decision, Microsoft lawyers have asked Judge Corley for enough time to prepare an adequate and thorough case with up to five days of expert testimony and this deposition. Judge Corley has granted this request and has scheduled five days of evidentiary uh, hearing, June 22nd, June 23rd, June 27th, June 28th, and June 29th. The FTC does not have to prove its entire case. However, Judge Corley must take Judge Corley must make three very specific determinations. Then it says MLEX reporter Michael Acton has an excellent breakdown on how this process works. And then it's and that is the end of the article. From uh, Tweak Town. Yeah. So, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft can, um, Microsoft may abandon Activision merger if federal judge grant FTC request. <laughs> well, there's something, there's one thing that, um, people are forgetting that the Supreme Courts is the, is the ultimate, um, ultimate jurisdiction are judges in the land they have the final say on this <laughs> they really do so this thing is not over yet so this is a <laughs> this is a everybody's like gearing up to um gearing up to uh make their argument and make their presentation illustration demonstration about the merger of of if and it, of, of why or why not the case should be the merger should be approved or not approved hmm. like I say before know your argument <laughs> anyway but uh, other than that man um yeah everybody everybody's gearing up man so um yeah like I told you before this is gonna be a um uh, uh, a fight and the Supreme Court has the final say on this. It ain't the, um, it ain't the, uh, <laughs> let's see, what judge is this? Where is she? Let's see, it's not the, um, uh, who else? I just seen it, just seen it, just seen it, just seen it. Uh, it's, it's not Judge, it's not Judge Jacqueline uh, Scott Corley. No. <laughs> it's the Supreme Court. They have the final, they have the final say-so on this. Okay? So, yeah, um, there's... There's love. There's levels to this. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Microsoft is not out of the woods yet, man. So everybody's delaying and trying to come up with an argument and trying to make state make their claim or state their case. Why why the case should be why this shouldn't be approved? Why it should be approved? Oh yeah, <laughs> get ready, man. Get ready. <laughs> so yeah, um, uh, Microsoft. Um, uh, Microsoft still got time on their side. They still do. You know, um, um, this is, like I told you, this is an endurance game, you know? And, um, you know, like I said, people can't, um, come up with the same recycle, uh, information. You gotta make a solid, concrete argument. And this notion that the, um, what he said, the, uh, what he said, he says down here, uh, the FTC does not have to prove its entire case. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. If you file a suit, you got. If you file a lawsuit against any corporate corporation, you have to make. You have to prove your case. You cannot sit there and say, "Oh, I don't have to prove prove its entire case." Yes, you do. You're not a. You're not exempt from the um. You're not exempt from the uh, from this. You don't get no. You don't get a. Uh, you don't get a pass. 
if you file a case, you have to make your argument on why this or that shouldn't happen. Okay? So yeah, you, you, um, the, the FTC don't get a get a pass, and neither and neither does the uh, the CMA. So yeah, the Supreme Court is the highest court in the land. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's one more level to this, the Supreme Court. <laughs> so yeah, they're sitting there waiting on this case too, cause they gotta they got some say on the matter, you know. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, let's see here. What else we got? Judge Corley has granted this request and has scheduled five days of evidentiary hearing, June 22nd, June 23rd, the 27th, the 28th, and the 29th. Oh, yeah. Yeah, before you walk into those courtroom doors, have your argument ready, you know? Have it ready, you know? Yeah, and be respectful and professional, you know? Treat the judge with respect. Teach, treat everybody in the courtroom with respect and present your case. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's called, res it's called respects. You, know, you, have, you have to pay respect, you know? You know? I'm um, sure respect to the judge, you know, the police officer in uniform, the lawyers, the attorneys. Yeah. Gotta be, gotta be professional in the courtroom, you know? Yeah. See, it, see I watch our suits, Perry Mason and Matlock, so I would know. <laughs> Sitting here playing around here. But yeah, um, they, um, they, uh, yeah, it's all about uh, uh, having a good, solid, concrete argument, man, right now. Yeah. If the FDC, if the FDC file a case, they have, they got to, they got to come, come up with some solid, concrete facts. You cannot sit there and doing the same old watered down, re re recycle stuff. That stuff is old. <laughs> you know, so yeah. And the same thing goes for the CMA. Can't be the same old water down, recycle crap. Uh-uh. Uh, argument. Can't be that. You got to come up with something new. Yeah. And you, and you got to show solid, concrete proof why the deal affects the video game, um, why the why the deal stops, comp affects competition and all that. But like I said before, uh, Activision doesn't stop um, Gearbox from uh, making another Brothers... Brothers in arm. Mm -mm. Okay. The, let me say this. Let, let me sum this this entire situation up. The entire video game industry does not evolve around Activision Blizzard. Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard does not stop stop competition, and it does not stop the industry from growing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, so when it when it comes to this Activision, um, when it comes to this these cases, man, you need a solid, concrete argument. Okay, know your argument. Anyway, leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you, people again. Chris, still Star Wars, a Star Trek fan, or Dark Side. Go, peace.